Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to Taylor Two. Then welcome back to my channel. So today we will be making a picture frame. Now we are going to go over the supplies you will need to um you will need to make this project. And you, and if you don't have any of these things, you will have to buy it from Walmart. And now let's get started on what you will have to buy if you do not have it. So, the first thing you will need are some popsicle sticks. These popsicle sticks specifically. And then next you'll need some clothespins. You may not be able to find these, but it is okay. You will still be able to participate with any other pin as long as it's close to close to and yeah and then you will also need elmer's glue the one glue that will probably only work for this product and you will also need some acrylic paint and the colors will be bright red camo pink candy pink bright magenta i mean magenta and fuchsia that's a weird color but yeah and you will need all these colors because you know it's valentine's day we gotta go with the valentine's day theme color things and stuff so yeah and those are all supplies you will need and also you will need um paint brushes but i prefer these paint brushes you will need because these these paint brushes are very helpful and you also need a cup any type of cup as long as it's a cup that you can put water in and then you also need a picture it can be any picture and then you just gotta follow the directions on how to make this project okay so now that we know the supplies that we need then we can get started on the project but a few things that well but one thing i have to tell you is that i've already well you will need two popsicle sticks for each color and i also have to tell you that you will need a type of palette you could also use a plate and you will need to squeeze the acrylic paint onto your plate or any type of paint palette that you have and also you will need to get popsicle sticks and get your acrylic paint and yeah so i already painted half half the side of my pop of my popsicle sticks and now i'm going to do the other side today and well um you will also need to and before you glue them and before you glue the picture frame together with your elmer's glue you will need to let you will need to paint both sides and let them dry so now that we are ready let's get started by taking a paintbrush and dip it in the paint you want to you want to start with and go and put it on the popsicle stick you want to paint and then you can get started
painted. Every single color, we're going to let those dry. Okay, so now while we're waiting for popsicle sticks to dry, we're going to paint our clothes pin. Now, I was going to start painting mine, but yeah, I didn't decide to, so I was waiting a little bit. And we're going to start painting now. So you can use any of your colors or you can just use one. But either cut but either color is fine or you could just have yours plain old wooden color so and stand it up just like that and then you're gonna let it and then you're gonna let the painted part dry and then you can turn it back over and paint the next side so we're going to let that dry and I will be back. Okay, now my popsicle sticks are all dry. And now I'm going to get started on gluing these. But also, you can either make them basic. But also, one thing that I have to tell you is you have to have two popsicle sticks not in not in a pattern in the back will have to be facing upwards here and the and the front will have to be facing right toward the table and you also have to have two popsicle sticks like this but on the back and then also what you also want to do is make sure you have your clothes pin nearby and also to make your um and also to make your picture frame you can either have them in a zigzaggy way like that or you could have it another zigzaggy way just like that Either way, or you could have it basic and have it just be straight. Either way is fine. So then you want to have your picture frame either zigzaggy or you can have it basic, just like mine. So, after you do that, you want to take your Elmer's glue, because now is the time to use your Elmer's glue. And then you will not want to put glue on these. You will not want to put glue on your picture frame. You will want to put glue on these. So then, with your two popsicle sticks that you do not have, with your two popsicle sticks that you do not have on the pattern for your picture frame, you're going to take the back of those and put some Elmer's glue just like this. You might need a grown up to help because you could accidentally put too much. Like when I was doing practice. I put a little too much, and then I was unhappy with it. But then I fixed it by smoothing it out. So then, you'll want to um, put your glue just like that, and do the same thing for your other popsicle stick. Copy what you did for your first popsicle stick, with your new glue well not your new glue but with your next popsicle stick not too much not too little just right just like that and if you put too much like that then you just have to smooth it out just like that and yeah so you're not gonna put glue on this you're gonna put glue on this because the minute you put these on then these are gonna stick together but you want to turn it over and glue it just like that do the same with your other popsicle stick 
on the other side like that. And be mindful, the side with the two popsicle sticks that go like this, that hold it together, that's the back. Okay? This, this side is the back. The, this, this side is the back. The other, the, the front should be facing toward the table on your work surface. And then the back should be facing you. And this is, this is the back. Okay? Gotta remember that. Now, after that, you will have to let your glue dry for your popsicle stick. Now, we are going to finish making the picture frame by gluing the clothespin. So, you want to put glue just like that. Not all the way up here. Just, just from here to here okay because then that will make your clothespin stick and hang off from the picture frame a little bit so then you so then after it dries you can put your picture inside your clothespin and then you'll have the finished product so first we will want to put our clothespin just like that it's okay if any glue is leaking on the side. That's very much okay. You might have to put a little glue around it so it can stay secure. So, might as well do that before it slips off while, it, while it's drying. Okay. Now, now, and after... And after that dries, then this will be your finished product. Thank you for watching. Make so and also make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and yeah, make sure you do all those things and leave a comment down below if you want me to do more projects and what you think I should do. Thank you for watching. Bye.